Hey guys, I wanted to show this uh, Street Fighter 2 or Capcom uh, version of the Radica uh, little mini Genesis. If you guys remember uh, a while ago, I picked up the Radica 6 in 1. There's this little Genesis like this that, uh, you know, this runs off four AA batteries and then it has uh, an option for a, a power plug, but uh, this one came with the batteries in it and then it just has a, a simple mono. AV composite uh, cable that's built into it. Um, this one has two six button controllers. The other one just had one three button controller, which was fine because I think most of the games, or if not all of the games that it came with, um, you know, were original games. They didn't require the six button controller or probably even take advantage of it. Uh, this one, its main feature is, of course, Street Fighter 2. So it's got two controllers, so you can do two player. And they're the six button controllers, a little bit smaller. And uh, they're not too bad, I mean, for a, what it is, it's a cheap toy, let's, let's you know, be honest. But uh, they're, they're not too bad. Yeah, like I said, I picked this up uh, for a dollar ninety nine, And that's, you know, really the only reason that I, I pick these things up. I wouldn't actually, you know, buy them. Uh, God knows what this thing actually sold for originally. Thirty, forty dollars maybe. I showed the Radica 6 and 1, which had uh, Echo the Dolphin and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and a whole bunch of uh, popular Sega games in it. And, uh, you know, it, it was alright. Like I said, it, they're, they're kind of neat for a little toy. I mean, obviously, they're, they're no replacement for the real hardware, but the one problem with that one was the sound was, was awful. And I'm wondering if they've improved something in this one. All right, so we're gonna start this thing up. First thing you'll notice is we have a Capcom, you know, a logo. It's official Capcom products, of course, with two Capcom games on here. And we'll start with Street Fighter Two. Uh, so far, I don't think the music, uh, you know, is really all that bad. There's nothing really standing out here that that's wrong uh, but when we get into the menu you'll notice that uh, when you're changing the menu selections you don't hear the sound that you should hear and uh, you may notice that more here is when you're actually picking your character it should be making a loud like bidding 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 sound as you change the characters and you can hear it it's very very silent it's very quiet in the background you can, you can hear that but once you start fighting and you get into the fight, uh, you'll see it's really not all that bad. The music, I think, is quite well, and I mean, the voices are pretty much as good or bad as they were on the Genesis to begin with. Uh, so I'll turn up the volume and let you listen to that.
So Street Fighter 2 wasn't too bad, but here in Ghouls and Ghosts, um, it's a little bit more noticeable. Some of the sound effects are too loud, and some of the sound effects are too quiet. Once again, I'm sure it has something to do with uh, the PSG versus the FM. Maybe there's not a lot of FM stuff going on in Street Fighter 2, so it kind of works out a little bit better in that game. Um, and here, you know, it's definitely worse, but... So there you go, I mean, it's not too bad in Street Fighter 2. It's a little bit worse in Ghouls and Ghosts, but uh, it's still overall, I don't think, as bad as the 6 and one There's none of that overly loud, distorted stuff that hurts your ears, and maybe that's why some of the stuff's too quiet in this one. Uh, but uh, overall, I can recommend it if you're a Street Fighter 2 fan, definitely.